Hi guys, it's Ollie with Chaos Monkey, and I am doing the finish for the Mary Maxim, I think, November 2019. Um, I do have a unboxing video for that that I will link in the eye somewhere up here um, if you want to watch the actual unboxing. But it was a goodie, is what I want to call it, but I don't think that's what they call it. They called it a hooded pocket scarf. Yeah, November 2019. And I finished it, and I just wanted to show you guys. So this bag actually came from Mary Maxim uh, um, in a kit. I think it was January of 2019 that they gave us this as like a little surprise. So that just I just used this for the skitty because it was a good size. But here it is. And I will show you some pictures because I know it's really hard to get the whole thing in here to where you can actually see it. And I'll try to find a model to put it on. Um, but here's the pockets. And you can see the stitch pattern. And I just followed the pattern. Um, I didn't really do any modifications. I'll look in my notes just to be sure. But I think the only thing that's kind of bothering me is that when the when it's, the scarf is up, this buckles a little much. I did, when I did do my, these are single um, crochets. No, are they? Are they? Are they? Yes, I'm pretty sure these are single crochets across the top. And... I did anchor it really well to the corners because you know this is going to be pulled on so I kind of did like a double in into that when I worked down the sides but it still kind of does this too much like when it's hanging open so I think I might actually just sew just that much on each side just so you can get your hand in and out fine but so, so it just doesn't flop open as much so that way you can see how if I just had like half an inch on each side it would only hang open that much instead of like that much with the so anyway that's the only part still bothering me um, it is fairly long so I would say it folded in half I'm gonna put it up against my measuring ruler here that is 24 25 26 27 28 29 so that's about 30 inches long for one half after this is folded up and sewn for the pocket because that's all you do is you just fold up the end and sew it. Um, so it's 60 inches total, uh, both sides, roughly. And then up here is the hood. So, of course, the scarf portion and then the hood at the top. And I just followed the pattern, so it's just the solid color. You could probably repeat this pattern through here if you wanted to. It would, it would probably, I don't know, you might have to finagle it to make sure that the repeats work, but... You know, I just kept it blue. I was kind of tired of all the color changes at that point because you have some you have more ends to weave in, of course. And then here's my hood, which again I will try to show on because it fits really nicely. And I did modify the edge of the hood, if you can see here, so that it had an edging because if you notice the picture, it just kind of had. They did put some type of edge, but you see how it's buckling and how it kind of hangs funky. Um, I just did a different type of edge so you can see that it's going to kind of uh, curl in a little bit so it makes it much nice, nicer and cleaner around the face and it doesn't buckle. Um, but plus, also keep in mind I have a really tight gauge so I did have to add another repeat on the hood to get it long enough. So I tried it on um, when I did the number of repeats I wanted and it was too short hood wise it would have it would have had the it would have pulled the scarf up off the shoulder once you put it on your head so I just did another repeat to make sure it was long enough to hit, hit comfortably hit the shoulder like this so everybody's gauge is different um, overall I hit gauge but I'm just a tighter crocheter so um, my hood did come out a little smaller so again if you're going to do the hood and you're a looser crochet or a tighter crochet try it on as you go because you might need less repeats if you're a really loose, loose um, crocheter, um, or like me, tight crocheter, I needed one more repeat just to make sure it fits. Don't blindly follow it and just sew it together because then you're going to be really upset if it doesn't hang right or fit right. 
Um, let's see, anything else in here I modified for you guys? I did use the K-hook that they suggested, and I did hit gauge when I measured it, but again, tighter crocheters, so... Um, um, yeah, I just did an extra repeat for the hood, and that's pretty much it. Um, and for the border, oh, for the for the hood portion, I ended up having 66 stitches all the way around. Uh, when I did a single crochet uh, to clean up the edge, I had 66 of those. And then into that single crochet, I just worked back and forth, and I just did a couple of slip stitches at the beginning of the hood just to really anchor it tightly here, because you know it's going to be pulled on. So any pull points, you really want to anchor good. So I kind of worked into that pretty tight, and then two, two slip stitches. And for me, because I had 66, I just divided it up. So two slip stitches, 10 single crochets, 10 half double crochets. Then I did 22 double crochets, 10 half double crochets, 10 single crochets, and then two slip stitches. So if you want to do something similar, just work some single crochets into the hood to clean it up and adjust your tension. So if it's really kind of ruffling, then uh, like crochet a couple together, a couple stitches together to kind of clean it up um, so that it's, you know, it's, it's crochet, it's going to be ruffly a little bit, but you want to clean it up so it's not super wiggly and crazy on the hood and you get a cleaner opening. Once you do that, count how many stitches you have and then just kind of divide it up evenly into that repeat with a couple of slip stitches, you know, slip stitches into single crochet, single crochet into half couple, half double, because what that does is it starts it out slowly at an angle as the stitches get bigger and then you get all your because um, you will be working kind of like on the wrong side. So if you see this is the right side of the double crochets, but I single crocheted around on the right side. And then when I did all my um, adjust, my what do you want to call this, uh, extra stitches, I was on the wrong side and I liked that because it actually folded the stitches down kind of cool over the face. And it's not like really in the face, it just pulls the hood around your face so it doesn't gap. And it looks pretty cool. So again, I'll try to find a model. Or, um, so yeah, it was pretty quick. Um, I haven't washed or blocked it yet, um, so after I do that sewing on the pockets, I will probably give it a wash and just lay it flat to dry. I'll probably just soak it in some warm water with some wool wash and um, just to get it clean and uh, let the stitches relax and do their thing. Um, I was kind of a little ruffled on the edges because um, it is a loose gauge and a really squishy yarn, but it didn't flare. You can see how it's loose but not flary, so I'm okay with that. And I didn't want to do like a tighter or a smaller hook or a tighter stitch on the edges because that's the that's the part that actually ends up over your shoulder because here's the hood and you're wearing it and so all of this it needs to stretch around your back and your shoulders so I didn't want it to be flared and ruffly but I definitely wanted it to have the stretch so it fits nice as nice as it can because you know all this is going to bunch up at the shoulder as it goes over, but it's fine. I mean, it's what it is. It's a, as you can see here on the picture, how it's going to bunch up a little bit around the shoulder. It's just the nature of the construction. Um, but I think mine was perfect at my gauge. And it, remember, it's very stretchy material too. You can see how much it's stretching. So, so that was it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these wash it, um, lay it flat to dry, and uh, I wove in all my ends, right? Yeah, I did my ends already, so so pretty happy with that, and um, that's another finish for Mary Maxim. So then my next one is for July, oh, July, <laughs> no, January, starts with a J, January 2020 is the um, most recent crochet Mary Maxim kit that I got and I also have a video for that that I will link and um, you can see the unboxing for that one and I will probably end up making that one as well and I'll keep you guys updated and posted on that. So I just wanted to show you the finish. If you're working on it and you have any questions or any problems you can always comment below and I'll help you out. Um, the pattern was pretty straightforward overall 
but I could see it being confusing to maybe some newer crocheters. Um, or if you want some help maybe on modifying something, I could maybe help. Um, but, you know, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to promise anything if you want to do some really crazy modifications. Modifications are small changes. If you want to rewrite the pattern, that's a completely different thing. I can't help you with that. But modifications are small changes to an existing pattern just to make it fit better or to adjust it to the size you want. Um, so just to clear that up, um, if you want to design a completely different scarf with this yarn, that's you're on your own. <laughs> so, oh, and I just want to show you what I got, what I had left over. So remember, it was two big balls of the blue and one ball of the tan. So I went ahead and um, weighed them just to kind of show you this is how much I had left of each. And so the blue, I had 38 grams or 1.3 ounces left. And the biscuit or whatever it was called, yeah, biscuit is, I had 99 grams or 3.5 ounces left. So that's not too bad. Um, for scraps and this can actually go into one of my scrap blankets so you know, I'm pretty happy with that because I don't really see it being enough to really make anything else out of but again everybody's going to have a different amount left over depending on your gauge depending on um, basically your gauge I don't know where I was going with that but uh, the weather you know I'm kidding um, just you know how you crochet is going to determine how much you have left so just want to let you know, I'm a fairly tight crocheter. It was a very loose stitch with a K-hook and a fairly good size. This would fit in average size, a small average woman or a teenager comfortably. But if you, again, try it on as you go. If you're going to make it for yourself and you need a bigger hood, you definitely want to try it on as you go to make those adjustments as you go because it is worked from the bottom up. It's already attached here. So you want to pin the top closed with like some um, clips and then go try it on in the mirror and see how it hangs and see if it's actually going to cover your head. Um, you know, like mine came out a little narrow this way, but it was still plenty of room to cover my head and then have it come across over my face, out from my face. Um, so I didn't want a huge hood, you know, and so this is perfect. And it I had to put that extra row in to make sure that it was long enough. Um, so just, yeah, that's my only big, big advice. Is the scarf not such a big deal on fitting. The only part you really have to fit is the hood, so just watch it. And that's it. Good pattern overall. Nice yarn to work with. It didn't split. Um, you know, it is a medium range acrylic. It's soft, but not too soft. A little rough, but not too rough nice and durable, um, you know, great for a garment like this because it's soft enough, but I think because it's so a little bit tough, it may not pill uh, as easily. Uh, keep in mind, everything's going to pill that gets rubbed on anything else. So, you know, if you don't want things to pill, try not to rub them on things. And Good luck. <laughs> so, but I'm thinking overall, I'm thinking this will hold up really well because it's a nice acrylic. So that was it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will talk to you guys soon. I do have a whip video. Well, not a whip video. Well, yeah, kind of mostly a finish with a couple of whips um, that I wanted to show you guys, and I'll go ahead and try to put that video up. But quick question, if anybody who's doing uploads, has your uploads slowed down? Um, let me know, because... I'm uploading a 14 minute video right now and it's taking three days and it's never been that long before. So I don't know if it's my internet or if it's just YouTube. So anybody who uploads, if you've been having really slow upload times, um, also they made me use the beta, not the, not the old school one that I like using for the uploader and I don't know if that has anything to do with it because they're making us all switch over to the beta uploader and I don't really like it, and I think it might be slow, so, anyway, all right, you guys, I love you, I will talk to you later, bye.